it's time for According to Finley. And with Halloween just a few weeks away, we're stepping inside Courtney's kitchen for some spooky treats your kids are sure to love. Go ahead and take a look. Hey guys, we're in Courtney's kitchen again this morning and we actually had a viewer question a couple weeks ago. A mom wanted to know what kid friendly foods you like to make. So you have some good ones for us. Yeah, morning. yeah, and I try to keep it seasonal. Um, so with Halloween right around the corner, um, these are quick and easy. They're actually just like little, I mean, they're not spiders because they only have six legs, but we call them spiders in this house. <laughs> they look like spiders. But actually, it's just um, Ritz crackers okay. with peanut butter and Nutella just wiped inside. Okay. And then I just stick some pretzels in there and then raisins for the eyes. It's a fun, healthy, quick treat. Takes two seconds to make. Great for after school. Um, I feel like it's hard to get children, especially younger kids, to mm -hmm. eat their fruits and veggies. So I decided with Caden I would make fruit swords. So um, they are dangerous, so you have to watch your children after you make them. But it just makes eating fruit and veggies more fun. Like you, and you can alternate the fruit with veggies. Just do whatever works for your household. And then you know there's so much variety yeah, with fruit and, and veggies. Are, are these little pieces of cheese? Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah. If, we're adults, we can have wine with this, but yeah, so it's fruit and cheese, and it's just mozzarella cheese sticks yeah. cut up. Really simple, quick snack, great on the go. All right. Um, and then let's see, Jello. So what kid doesn't love Jello? The jigglers, yeah. right? Right. So I just made the Jello normally, um, not rocket science, and I just used the cookie cutter from the season. I think we have a cat, a pumpkin, a ghost, a bat, a house, and actually. Um, if you just put them in and let them okay. sit overnight inside the jello, you can kind of scrape around the sides and then put them on the plate and they'll actually be the figures. So it's like the kids eating like a bat jello or a pumpkin jello. It's just fun. Such a good idea. It's just taking jello up a notch. It's nothing spectacular, but it's fun. Okay. All right. The last one. I have the an eye on that. Yeah, okay. So I'm a big lover of chicken cordon bleu. Okay. Love it. So I decided to kind of make a kitty version of that and it's basically just chicken, ham, and Swiss cheese just wrapped into a croissant. Yeah. Kind of like pigs in the blanket with a twist. So, um, you know, I just boil maybe a few chicken strips from the store. Five bucks, no biggie. And then um, I get a pack of just regular Swiss cheese. Again, I'm sure I'm insulting Wisconsin with my <laughs> store-bought generic cheese. And then um, sandwich meat is just really easy because it rolls easily around the chicken and the cheese. And then I just get Pillsbury croissants, warm, buttery, flaky. Um, I think eight come in a pack, so it's enough okay. to have a snack or lunch or breakfast. Um, but it's one of our favorites here. Oh, it looks so good. Great ideas. I think any mom could put these together. Yeah, quick, easy. It took me maybe Two seconds on each All right. on each item. Another fabulous idea. And if you guys actually have any questions for Courtney, you can post them on our Facebook page or you can send her a tweet on Twitter. Yeah. She's crazy on Twitter. Tweet me. Tweeter. <laughs> Well, here is that information one more time. If you guys do have a question for Courtney, go ahead and submit it on our NBC 26 Today Facebook page. You can also find Courtney on Twitter and make sure to tune in next Friday for another segment.